so you have the so you have the original tube. Original. I'm trying to explain again for someone asked again. So you are going to make three new tubes dilu diluted DNA. Uh, three new tubes. Uh, that should be 100 nanogram per microliter. And then you are going to make a whole new tube of master mix. in another tube and then you are going to put three reaction tubes reaction tubes so the master mix is going to transfer to the reaction tube and the DNA mix is going to transfer to each one of them okay. Making sense? So you you have a, a three plasmid plasmid DNA, and you are going to make three diluted sample. That's a hundred nanogram per microliter. And then you are going to make a master mix. And then <coughs> using the master mix and the three diluted DNA sample, you are going to make three reaction all in separate tube. There has to be new tube. So, that, so that's five, we're going to take five microliters yeah. of the DNA all right, and um, then this is it in each from each uh, diluted plasmid DNA transfer them into reaction tubes. Okay, so each one of those arrows represents five microliters of diluted DNA. That's right. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to label everything clearly. This 15 microliters of the master mix we mm -hmm. have here, I thought that the master mix, so you make that first. Right. And how much do you put into each? I thought we just Are went we, Well, we did those calculations. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 